Here we are on a fellow boater's boat, a uh, cruiser 420. Uh, today we're going to be discussing some improvements that we did aboard the boat, uh, specifically a uh, larger battery bank for the house, an inverter charger uh, so that the owner is able or the boater is able to actually run certain AC appliances uh, while cruising and at anchorage away from shore power or not having to run the generator. And the third thing we did was installing a battery monitor and that battery monitor allows the owner to be able to see uh, the state of charge of the batteries in percentage and also figure out what are the draws on the battery, either the draws and also the charging current. So those are the three things we did on this boat. All right, here we are um, on a Cruiser 420 and uh, what we're going to talk about next is the why. Why did this owner bring us on board and what were they trying to achieve? Basically, um, this boat was set up with large generator, engines, alternators, but there's really no way for the owner to actually use certain AC appliances on his boat without the generator connected to shore power. So how does he run a microwave? How does he have uh, perhaps a coffee machine, um, watch TV? How does he do that without having a generator or connected to shore power? So the goal here was to basically have an inverter and an inverter that will allow you to have the conveniences of AC without shore power or generator. And that device is over there in blue. And for this project, uh, we decided to install the Victron Energy. Um, based on the profile, um, it fit really well in that space. And uh, the other thing we want to do now that we were actually adding an inverter charger was originally there was actually two Group 31 batteries for the house battery. And that was not going to be sufficient to actually do what we wanted to do with the inverter because the inverter takes a lot of power. And to give that power, we had decided to install a new dedicated house a battery bank. And here are two L16 AGM batteries that we installed. Effectively, not only doubling the amp hours, but because we can bring those batteries lower in the depth of discharge, um, it's almost effectively was probably more than twice the amount of available power that he started with. So we chose AGMs because they're easy to maintain, and basically maintenance free, and um, it's really nice profile and there's a lot of space here. And the last thing we also did, started off with the inverter, did the batteries to give power so we can run the inverter and the other thing was well how do we know what is going to be actually the state of charge of the batteries and so we ended up putting a battery monitor sort of like a fuel gauge and a speedometer so that the owner knows really what is the depth of discharge of the batteries so when it's time to recharge know when it's top time to stop charging if the batteries are potentially full and he doesn't want to spend too much time running the generator and also knowing the amps the amps being drawn or charged in the batteries